JD Camp 26 here, just doing tips and fears and hobbies. And here we are with the little cowboys. I'm going to paint them, paint their shirts up. Red. So, get a base coat on there, and that helps to the acrylic to stick to the next coat. I think this red is a good choice for their shirts. No, I'm not going to put stripes on their on their shirts. It'd be a little bit too hard for me to do. But this red looks pretty good. See. Hope you're doing good today. Pretty good day. Still pretty early. Yesterday I was watching um, a video on uh, When the Earth Stood Still, the movie. A pretty good movie. And... Uh, how they put it together and how they chose the actors and everything else. And uh, if you look it up, you might want to see that on YouTube if you like uh, stuff like that. This is a very tiny brush to do this kind of work. We're just getting the areas that we need to get. doing all red shirts. Every one of them is getting a red shirt. They're all in the same group. They all shop at the same cowboy store. Basically, there wasn't much, back then, there wasn't too much of a choice in uh, clothing, really. If you had a choice in clothing, you were very wealthy. These are just hired hands doing this mule train. Although that's that was considered a pretty good job too. Hauling hauling stuff, transport. Kind of your <coughs> UP kind of a they were like the UPS of cowboys, you know. Okay, so let's uh, use that brush. And I gotta get some, I gotta get some new brushes. These are, this paint is cracking off the, the brush. I don't like that. You know, I have to do the inside. The inside is where they'll be sitting on the on the mule. I'll be I'll have them sitting on the mule. So I'll just do the outside. 
course, she's sitting on a, sh a saddle, so I gotta get the brown out to do the saddle. Flush tone out. Do the flush tone. This is a royal blue, kind of a you know a blue jean blue. I'm using right here. Tamiya. It's a Tamiya color. Can't see him if he's wearing any six guns on these little figures. Can't tell. The, the, the boots I'm gonna leave the same. Just the same color as the plastic. Because they're uh Boots are kind of dark looking anyway. If you put a lighter color on it, the, they'll stick out like a sore thumb. Okay, so we've got two riders. I'm gonna have to some, go through some of these brushes. <clears throat> They're cracking and I don't know, maybe sand them down. Really cracking, let's see, brown. The brown is for the, the saddle.
Okay. So I did those two guys. Some flashing here. frog at my throat today. No, I don't eat frogs. Just, it's just the weather. This, let's see, I have a brush here. I noticed on the wagon, the wagon wheel. Was it this? Huh, in here. Missed. Missed some spots. go pulling the work in towards me. Sorry guys. certain spots you'll be able to see <clears throat> the spokes from above you'll see it you know what I'm saying uh, the mist like I said 3D you know you gotta look at all angles all angles you gotta look So, so if we added red and brown in the series in the part three here for colors, and I'm going to add a flush tone, which I have right here. This is a big color, 0115. That's about too much I use there.
using the uh, <coughs> Q-tip. And since you put it on there, you know, bring out some of the details of his eyes. Um, do his hands here. you do is you're rubbing away with the with the q-tip to get the details out and you're just leaving some of the paint in there you know a little trick Sometimes you put on too much. Like that. I thought I'd do his hand here. see one spot it's like one spot needs a little spot of blue you know so I gotta check all the, the blue parts now one spot and you can open up the blue again you go back and forth with the paint you know you can also just save your paint to keep it um, a little fresh you can uh, put it's just a saran wrap over the over the thing, and uh, it'll keep the paint fresh for a couple of days. Put saran wrap over it if you want to save it. You know, you're working on those colors, and you're you stop in the middle, put a little saran wrap over that. See that like that needs a red. It. Try to cap off your stuff right away. Um, after, you know, after you use it, because uh, be a good thing to do. You don't want anything falling into it. Good. Put him over there. You know, you ask a person, this used to get me. You ask a person, how you doing? I'm good. You know? Yeah. I didn't think you were bad. You know, I'm good. Well, here's another one. It is what it is. Really? It sounds like a mathematical equation. You just spurt it out. 
and they had this uh, friend in school. He'd asked me the time, and he was from and he was from another country. You know what time it is. It used to kill me what time it is. You know, I says, you mean what time is it? You know, I think I ended up buying him a clock. You know, a cheap one for the bookstore. Because he always asked me the time. I think he was just being a pain in the neck. That's all I think. Let me see the hand here. Back and forth, forth and back. And then open up the blue again. Because I missed. Down here. not to drop stuff in your paint like you know foreign materials because if you go to use it to airbrush it's only gonna stick your get your airbrush all clogged up and you're gonna go why is my why isn't my airbrush working this is about I would say the cleanup of the paint paint jobs here you know, the, I, oh, I got to do those. That bugs me. I'm going to get a bigger brush here. There's a, see these barrels? Well, barrels are not that color. They're more of a, more of a brown. I want to put brown on those barrels. You know, you look at stuff when you say, yeah, this needs that, that needs this, you know. So you keep going over it. When you go over it, you know, you see certain details you wanna you wanna bring out, you know. And uh, it keeps getting better and better. You know, just think about your colors, you know, what am I gonna do? I like to I like to place colors out on on the table. And see these are the colors I'm gonna use. You know, I'll look on the, I'll look on the box. I mean, I'll follow the box art, you know, and just put the colors out you need and just use them accordingly, you know. That yeah, looks better. Let's see what I'm doing there. So keep you, you know, you're going to use a paint, you can use the acrylic paint, which I'm using now, and you can put enamel over acrylic, but you can't put acrylic over enamel. So if I wanted to use a tester's um, enamel over this, I could on, the, on top of the acrylic. But stick to all the, the type of paint you, you're you using. If you, you're gonna use acrylic, use all acrylics. You know, acrylic is, is easy to clean up, you know? So, that's why you wanna stick to it. I says, geez, you know, paint goes a long way. I had a paint kit once, I still have the box, 
and I put all my paints in it. I didn't do modeling for quite a while, you know. And I had all my paints in there. Oh, I got my paints, you know, I got my paints. Well, I started up doing modeling again, and uh, I went to that paint box, opened up the paint box, and all the paints were all dried out. You know, I just hadn't used them for quite a long time, or I didn't, I didn't seal the bottles enough when I, when I put them away. I don't know. They're saying so you had to go buy paints. You know, you know. A lot of times I'll go buy some craft paints. You know, at the at the craft store. You know, those are just as good the craft paints. I mean, I have actually taken my. Uh, thinner that I use. I make up thinner, you know, with uh, distilled water and and Windex and um, what's this stuff called? I got this stuff in it. Glycerin. I put glycerin, you know, a couple of drops of glycerin, Windex and water, distilled water. And, and, you know, I mix the craft paint, you know, like 50 to 50 and mix it up really good and thin it out. Like, again, like everybody says, the consistency of milk and it works let me tell you craft paint goes a long long way you can use craft paint you don't have to go buy Tamiya or the good stuff I like to I like to buy it you know I to me is a good paint to use and I buy the Aztec uh, testers that's a good one too um, what else do I have I have a uh, the MIG, I have MIG paint. I have this stuff. Wicked Colors, love Wicked Colors. Goes a real long way, Wicked Colors. Set of those, you know. Um, and this stuff I buy, Model Air, really good. I, I, I would I like to see it in a bigger bottle, the Model Air, like this big. Yeah, and uh, that goes really good. Put that straight into your airbrush. And uh, you, away you go. So for now, this concludes part three. Uh, part four is making the base. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and stay safe. We'll see you next time.